Hey everyone! Rictus and Kappa, Kai and Listless, Coffee who had it ready, ready to go. Hey Coffee. Hello, hello everyone. Oh, I meant to mention Woo. Woo better be here. I put on some Christmas music just for Woo. How y'all doing? How has everyone's week been? Been away from people for a week. I'm doing pretty good too. Um, today specifically, the first half of the day was uh frustrating just because day job stuff was like it took four hours to do nothing <laughs> to do to do essentially what could have been done in five minutes how of how of how of looks silly where where it typed out <laughs> how of a worm <laughs> but i'm glad you've been doing great coffee that's good that's good Cruising towards more of your, your goals. Not too bad. Lots of streaming this week. I saw Rictus. Yeah. You've been pretty good, Listless. That's good. Kappa's been tired, but alrighty. What happened there? Okay, Annika just uh, tooted my thing. Currently doing artwork for a university. Ooh. What you working on? Anything? Anything you can share with us? Ah, there we go. I got it. I got it on. <clears throat> yeah, so I had my family visit last week. Uh, and we did, like, Canadian Thanksgiving, which was back in October. But they had been waiting for me. So we did that. A couple of birthdays. They got Annika. Her birthday was also in October. They got Annika some nice gifts. Um, just some really thoughtful things. She wasn't even expecting anything. It was very kind of them. And, uh, yeah, I was just able to, to hang out with them. I had to do a little bit of work last Monday and a bit of Tuesday, but, uh, I got to hang out with my cousin, go to lunch. Uh, I did some... <laughs> did some golfing with my uncle. Um, I'm terrible at golfing. <laughs> but they enjoy it, so. Well, with my uncle and my cousin. Can't share it just yet, but it's a cool little scene. Okay, okay. Once it's done and you're, like, able to, please do. Oh, I also went to, uh, I went to, we all went to an antique store. Love going antiquing and, like, flea markets and stuff like that. I love seeing all the unique things they have. Um, I went, and you can kind of see it a little bit there. I'll grab it. I got a, uh, uh, I got an old turntable. Hold on. I got an old JVC turntable. Mix master Shay. No, it's good because it's it's really well built. It's got the old, it's got the like return arm, right? Which goes back. Like if you if you press it, it goes back automatically. The belt is there and it all works. Like all the parts are here and everything like that, right? Um <laughs> the 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 only well, I got I got some uh, some records. The only thing is it uses the old RCA speakers. It uses the old left, right, white, and red speakers. I don't have those anymore, so I got to find a pair of uh, of older speakers in order to enjoy it. But um, yeah, they plugged Stream it in there. Buddy. 
Thanks, Kai. Wait, why did that other one? Why didn't my other one go away? <laughs> what happened? Oh no. That's weird. That's never happened before. What the fuck? It's a cool little mask. Oh, hold on. This will give me a chance to try out the new studio mode. But yeah, so I got that guy. I got that guy and I just need some older speakers to uh, to take care of it. Or the, to take care of it, to, to play it. And I, I'm pretty excited for it. I'll, I'll show you a couple things in a minute. But first of all, let me try out the studio mode. Apparently this is a thing that works. How does this, hold on. Can I? Where's my buddies? There's my buddies. Okay, you guys can still see me, right? And then, can I turn off Buddy Legacy? Oh, there we go. But why is it broken? That's so bizarre. Wait, let me look at scripts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, they can both go at the same time. Why? Because time happened? Yeah, it's so bizarre. Let me look at my scripts. That's so weird. Hmm. Can't banish the half and half. I guess I'll put, yeah, it's like W, whoops, W, stream buddies. And then I hit okay. And that should. Why doesn't it, why doesn't it, like it should only show one at a time. That's so strange. Got some good news for you, Shay. I, uh, last night, I just officially beat Dragon's Dogma. Nice. Got the true ending. And I've never felt such great wonder and mystery. Cannot wait for Dragon's Dogma 2. I am probably going to get the garbage loser ending. I don't know how many endings there are. I don't know anything about that. I, I'm a, Obviously, there's more than one ending. But I, I feel like I'm doing absolutely everything wrong so i'm really glad that you got you know like the true proper ending and yeah yeah the dragon saga too they're working on it it's gonna be a while it's gonna be a long time but they're working on it so i don't understand why this is broken it literally nothing changed i didn't do anything <laughs> so i don't get i don't get why this is broken. All that happened was time passed. I didn't change anything. Which, by the way, is the same as the... Oh, no, I'm not even going to say it. I really want it to, to be fixed. I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. Well... Why does it let me put two visible? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, scripts. Source toggler. What if I get rid of that? And then, what if I take this, take its entire name, copy this name here, like this, go into scripts again, go back to the toggler. Can I, hold on. Get rid of the toggler completely. Add the toggler again. Go here. Add the thing of the groups. Hit okay. The hell does always show do, is that? Hold on. Do I want that? It's still not go- I don't get it. I don't get it. Nope. Not with Streambot. Hey, Leo. <clears throat> oh, man.
No, it's my stream buddies that are broken. And I suspect it has to do with, with OBS and the source toggler script. Uh, despite the fact that I haven't changed anything. I went for my family visit. I came back and it just was broken. It was just broken. And I don't... I don't understand. There's no reason that that should be broken, but it absolutely is. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'll just toggle that stuff off if people redeem it, I guess, for now. I've never really beaten Dragon's Dogma since I was in the... And had to collect 20 wake... Okay, I'm not going to read most of that. I appreciate you redacting stuff, though. But, yeah, I'm not going to... <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you're all doing well. And yes, I, I do want... So this... So this turntable... It's like a working version of this. It was a good deal. It was like 150 bucks for a working version. And this guy had it and it works. They tested it out for me. And it was 60 bucks. So I was like, yeah. I, I used to have a little cheapy turntable. A little cheap record player. Um, and that's how I played a couple of the records that I do have, because I don't have a ton. Um, and then it stopped working. So now I've got this, I've got this one. I just need the speakers for it. And I've got, hold on. Got several Rise albums because they're my favorite band. And I've also, oh, I'm missing one. And I've also got the Transistor album. It's all sleeved up. I've opened it before, I've listened to it on that old turntable, but ah, oh, it's so good. I love it. It's so good. Probably, probably one of my favorite OSTs ever. And the like resurgence of vinyl uh, seems to be a thing, right? Like they're making new vinyl for, for a lot of uh, newer albums and like games even, OSTs, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm glad I saw it. I'm glad I picked it up. <clears throat> What's this that I got on? Oh yeah. The trending extends the game in like, uh, like another four hours, depending on how fast you manage to get through endgame stuff. Oh. So if suddenly my game comes to an abrupt and terrible end, I'll know that I didn't get the true ending. <laughs> so yeah, did anyone did anyone have anything that they've uh that they've been doing that they want to share from last week? While I was away. Band I like are releasing their album on tape now. Oh shit! I don't think that's as popular as. But I haven't seen a resurgence in like tape stuff. But but maybe I've just been living under a rock. But uh, that's cool. Yeah, I um, I would like to get to work on another couple of videos. It's gonna be a busy few weeks, I think, because. Uh, I will be going back to see family around Christmas time, and I would like to get a few videos queued up for the holidays so I'm not stressed out about it, so that it's just like, done. <laughs> so, I'll be working on some videos, frantically doing some edits, etc., etc., and, uh, 
What else? What else? I've got the... Today, today, we're playing a lovely game called Barn Finders that Monty uh, had recommended as, as a milestone for the, uh, for the UNICEF stream, and you all did that. Uh, I will also be, this week, uh, releasing some D&D one-shot info, like how that's going to kind of go. So that'll be this week. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, but it'll be this week. And I'm going to run a one shot because that was the ultimate milestone. Listless, you got that gaming. Oh, you got the gaming table. Oh, hell yeah. It was a disaster. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Listless. Oh, no. What happened? I was so excited, and then I was so let down two lines down from that. Is it at least resolved? Like, is it... Was it like, oh, yeah, they, like... One of the legs was fucked up, but they're sending a new one. Or, like, is it... Is it a happy ending, at least? A lot of stuff was wrong. Oh, like they sent a lot of the wrong parts or like Scott. Oh, it was poorly made overall. That sucks. Um, do you mind saying who it was by? Just just so that like, you know, if it was poorly made, maybe people don't get the same thing. Okay, is it usable for you at least? I like I assume it sounds like you're you're unhappy with your purchase, and rightly so, if a bunch of stuff was wrong and it was poorly made. Um it is usable, that's good at least. It's just disappointing, right? Like you spent I, I imagine quite a bit. I can I can be there in solidarity with you, listless. I spent, was it 1400 Canadian? I spent $1,400 on a table that never came. I met the guy at PAX where he was demoing and showcasing his tables and it all looked really good. And it was a Kickstarter. Oh no, there's no refund. That money is gone. That money is like gone in a scam. Finish is garbage, doesn't match the chairs we bought for it, and the person won't refund past $400. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Kappa. That was the that was the thing that, like, like I wasn't aware at the time at just how much Kickstarter does not care at all. If you're... If it turns out to be, like, straight up, like, a scam, like, the barest minimum that people have to do where Kickstarter is, like... That sucks, but, you know, it's really not... Eh. Kickstarter very much operates like... You, you should view it as investing in a speculative stock, basically. Anything that you kickstart... Because, I mean, I think, I think people are familiar with Kickstarters like... Of course, a lot of the time, you're funding products that are that are not it's the first it's often the first time that a a developer creator will have shipped a product so if you're funding something like a card game a board game whatever usually a lot of the time um they'll put dates and you can almost be assured that those dates will not be met and that's there's nothing inherently wrong with that it's just a lot of the time they don't have the experience, right? They've never actually shipped a physical product. They've never done the logistics. They've never done project management to that scale. Particularly if you get a lot of backing where you're like, okay, guys, we need like 50 grand to, you know, to put out this little card game that I've created. And then people love it for whatever reason. And suddenly you're sitting on $4 million and that many fulfillments that you need to do. So I get that. I totally understand that. Uh, you know, things get delayed, things get, um, you know, screwed up and that kind of stuff. But um, the amount of protection there isn't 
when using Kickstarter basically means that uh, if you back something, you should expect that that money is gone <laughs> until the product shows up. Like, you have no recourse. It has been my experience. Appalachian Game Table on Etsy is the seller. Okay. Yeah, like, if, if it's something where, like, where, like, something's working with you, like, the whole name and shame thing, I only like using if it's, like, clearly in this case, it was poor, doesn't match the chairs, finish is bad. So, like, in that case, I want you to tell us who it is just so that people don't, you know what I mean? So that they don't buy th something and wild because they clearly made good tables. Oh, and you just didn't get one? So let's see. Oh, neat. That does look pretty cool, Listless. I'm, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. I'm, I'm at least glad you, that, that you have the table and like perhaps you could either at least work on it or have it be usable for you, you know? But I do get that that's like, that's, that's quite a pretty penny to, to spend. I'm sorry you didn't get, uh, Get what you needed. Jeez. Planning on working on it to fix it? Yeah. So this is, uh, this is my, where is it here? Here's my, uh, name and shame story. Second breakfast, I, I I saw this at PAX East at first in one of the demo rooms. And there's the, the dice box, card holder, battle tiles, like a player coffin, chairs, bunch of fabric colors, table stain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, here's the tables themselves that... There's a couple of different kinds of... Oh, well, sorry. European beach hardwood is what they use. Yeah, it is. Um, and the idea was that with these tables, like here's the rail design with the cup holders and everything. Um, the idea was you could use this as a dining room table. Uh, as with a lot of tables there, if you guys are familiar with like wormwood and stuff like that, um, a lot of the tables are designed such that you can use them as dining tables right so and like literally when i was at pax they had these tables there was like four tables set up and and two guys running it um so i kicked in for one of these because i was like yeah if i can have a dining table that functions there was there's a, a like a trough like a tray thing right where it's like one two three four um and there's a, there was a uh, like a like a a design where any spillage would wouldn't hit the table, right? So you could have your games here, and then you could have the leaf in here, and this uh, like see how the the cup holders and everything are connected. This comes out, and a skirt comes down such that it just looks like a dining table. And with the with the the table itself, and what was it? Six chairs. It was like maybe like US $1,000, I think it was. Well, I can probably, where the hell is it? All this player coffin, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Here it is. Second breakfast table XL, $700, plus some, some chairs and everything like that. Comes with the four removal dice trays, cup holders, double cup holders, single cup holders, dinner height table legs, fitted clear acrylic sheet. And the playfield, of course, right? With the topper leaves and everything. So between that, 
Uh, this is 600. I was an early bird. 600 plus the chairs, about a thousand US dollars. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh, if you, if you bought a dining table normally, like a good dining table, new with six chairs, probably about a thousand dollars anyway. So the fact that it has, you know, the little thing that make it into a gaming table, that's cool. So it's like 1400 Canadian. And, um, yeah, here's, uh, here's the updates. Sample giveaway, where we stand, short hiatus, back from hiatus, refund info, what ifs. Essentially, a bunch of these, a bunch of these updates are excuses. And... I believe that what happened here was the person who ran the Kickstarter was in over his head, had a partner who had factories that made this uh, in, in China, which is not uncommon. I mean, that's where a lot of these things get made. Um, but I believe that person was running a scam on our hapless uh, face of the company here. And I mean, there's video updates of like the factories. He went there to the factories and toured it and had it all put together. And yet, what I'm upset about here is that this gentleman who ran this, when things were going bad and stuff, he was lazy about it. He took months to have any clear and transparent communication with people. Like even if he had to just come and said, oops, everything is bad, but it was just laziness and incompetence the whole way through to the point where at some point he said he had a hundred tables and they've just been like rotting in a storage locker literally for like two years now like the hundred tables fact this is august of 2020 they've been sitting in storage presumably that he's paying for for two years and even when people were gonna give him further money i wasn't but other people were like i at least want a table what do i have to do to get one of these tables he would not communicate at all with people um and then at some point he put out a thing and he's like, hey, I'm going to be an agent of the... He said he had no access to any of the funds for anything like refunds and stuff. And yet here, you know, we have no money at all. I'm going to be acting as the agent, settling the company's ob obligations. You can't do that unless you act as the owner. He was saying somewhere that he transferred the assets, which is the hundred tables I'm talking about. He transferred the assets to a second company a second company that he had set up and i'm like we are we were all like legally we're like you cannot transfer the assets of a company that you don't have ownership of and yet he, like he claims that he's not the owner so please don't sue me but also i'm definitely got these assets that i'm transferring to this second company that i so happen to own sorry for your luck wooded realms is shutting down Tables are coming to the U.S. Let's see. Yeah. What does this mean for anyone? What is the new company? The new company. You can't make this shit up. He called the new company Another Industries LLC. And it is my company. It was formed in my name and is wholly owned by me. And the hundred tables and chairs have been sitting in China for almost a full year. And they're now here in Seattle. I somehow oversaw their delivery and I'm transferring the assets. How can you do that if you weren't the owner of the first company? He transferred them to a second company called literally Another Industries LLC and then has done nothing with them. There has been no update. There has been no anything. This was the last update, February of 2021. <laughs> Oops, all your money is gone and I formed the second company and transferred 100 tables. There was much more than 100 tables. There was 740 backers pledging almost half a million dollars.
Ah. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that money is totally gone. Um, I essentially just lit $1,400 on fire. So that's unfortunate. I really wanted a gaming table. <laughs> And we don't have a dining table, by the way. Out, out in our kitchen right now, we have no dining table. Because I don't have the money to buy a dining table. <laughs> like, I wanted so badly for this to be... Anyway. Walked away with a cool half mil. Yes. Yes. Somebody did. Listless. Somebody did. Whether some of it was this guy. Whether, whether some of it was the person in China. But somebody walked away with half a million dollars. Um, so th this was my little tangent to say, I, I sympathize with you listless. I'm sorry when like, especially big purchases, right? Where you're all excited. I assume you've saved up your money. You're like, Hey, I'm going to go for this. It's going to be dope. It's going to be so cool. And like, I'm a big nerd who just wants a gaming table. And then, you know, you got delivered something that sounds like wah, wah. And now you've got to make do, right? Yeah, and so many gaming tables are plagued by this. Everyone thinks they can make it or, like, do do it better or do a bunch and, like, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, so if you want to kickstart my project so I can get a kitchen table. Yeah, subscribe to me on Patreon, uh, where backers will get um, this half-opened halls, which I'll definitely send to you. But only if I get like 500 subscribers at the $30 tier per month. And I will definitely do that. <laughs> I'm going to open a second company called, called Shay Definitely Not a Scammer Incorporated. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, it was just, it was just, <laughs> where do I send my money? Yeah, no, I, I agree with you, Listless. I, that soured me from Kickstarter. Um, I, I have one other thing that I backed, which was the, the Avatar, uh, uh, tabletop role-playing game. I backed that. I backed the Avatar game, uh, which does appear to be shipping. They are, they have been communicating with updates and everything. Shay Nanigans Inc. I love that. Shayforpay.com. Copy. I almost banned you for being a bot. <laughs> but no, I, I'm totally soured on Kickstarter because uh, we all went to Kickstarter and, and made complaints where we were like, hey, this seems pretty cut and dry that we got scammed, right? Like we, we backed this project um, and no tables ever appeared, ever. Uh... And there was a partner company, all that stuff, the dice tower and the acrylic and everything like that. Do you remember that? That company is a real company that we contacted and we were like, hey, not to step on anyone's toes here, but we're getting kind of worried because we haven't heard anything. Like we just keep getting these nothing updates spaced like eight months apart where no work seems to get done at all. Um, so has Nathan contacted you? And they were like, oh yeah, we don't have payment for the accessories. Like we were good to go. We had all the accessories like ready for you guys. Um, we just haven't received payment or anything for them. And we were like, okay. Like that seems pretty evident that nothing has happened. And so we went to Kickstarter and we were like, hey, nothing has happened. And Kickstarter was like, well, there's updates coming. We can't really consider the project abandoned and a scam because, I mean, there's updates, like on the page. And we were like, so all I have to do is make a Kickstarter and as long as I put an update that says like, still working on it, <laughs> then we're good? There's no protection from Kickstarter at all. So I would caution folks, uh, yeah, if you want to back small stuff or if you uh, really do your research and you think that the company's good, I don't want to seem like I'm like fear mongering anything, right? Because I have received products from Kickstarter, um, but I've had a very bad personal experience with them where they, they do not back you if something goes wrong. 
So I would just caution that uh, any 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 money that you send to get a thing, you consider it spent, and definitely try to know what you're you're in for. Man turns his updates page into Twitter to keep his project legit. Sorry about the tables with today. I had a good sandwich. Funny you mentioned, like, he did have a Twitter and, like, a personal Twitter that, like, for a bit, like, when things were good, he was, like, all excited there. But then it was just nothing. And people were, like, because we had a Discord where people were, like, no, I'm legit. Like, I live in the same state. I'm going to take him to small claims or, like, I'm going to. And so people were trying to get evidence and stuff like that, right? Um, and they had said, they're like, yeah, so there's been no update on this project for us. Any tangible update for like four months now. But uh, I saw on Twitter that Nathan went to a game cafe and had some good beer. So that's cool. <laughs> I see that he completed his Lego set. I'm not even kidding. But like anytime anyone asks for an update, there's just nothing. I backed Dungeon Alchemist and that turned out pretty well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, it's it's definitely like, it's individual, right? It's individual to the people. So I'm sure there's tons of projects that back, they're successful. Uh, even the ones that get delayed are often just because, as I say, the people haven't ever done anything like that before. And they have every intention of following through on the project. So sometimes there's just delays. Um, the only real thing that really didn't sit right with me was the kickstarter themselves didn't have any support or any like even when we pointed and we were like as per your own terms this seems pretty clear that it's a like that no tables are ever coming and the money is totally gone like right here in the update they're like oh, we have no access to the money oops so so maybe some protection and no there was just nothing so that was that was my my biggest gripe. That's what soured me to Kickstarter itself and not not the creators that use the platform to legitimately get things off the ground that they otherwise couldn't, right? Cuz there's like tons of role playing stuff, like D&D &D stuff, digitally produced goods, um Gloomhaven and stuff started on there, right? Like there's so many things that people that just wouldn't be possible without some sort of crowdfunded effort like Kickstarter, like Patreon, those kinds of things um, where someone's like, hey, I have this really cool idea for a board game, but I don't have $100,000 to bring it to fruition. So I do love that aspect. I had one okay thing as back over the Nemesis board. Oh, I think a buddy backed that, the Nemesis board games. They were pretty cool. Yeah. It's rough because you want to back cool projects or small developers, but it's risky. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I love all your shenanigans. Shay for pay. <laughs> oh, I love that. You guys are great. <sighs> but yes. Today we're gonna do today we're gonna do Barn Finders. Uh, I wish Monty had come around. I was kind of waiting for people to filter in a little bit more. And for Monty to come about, because Monty was the one who suggested this game. But that's okay. I suppose there's the VOD. Shady, shady bweezness. <laughs> Those Kickstarters. Yeah. So, yeah. Today's that. And uh, I will have some more info on the D&D one-shot shortly, folks. I It, it will not be... Uh, streamed here on Twitch. Uh, it'll just be something we'll do within the community. Um, I think that'll open the door a little bit more for people who uh, are uh, perhaps anxious or shy of like, they don't want to be necessarily on stream role playing, um, but they're happy to like jump in. So it'll probably just be a community thing. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I got in terms of... Uh, Announcements and talk. Hey, Rock. <clears throat> How you doing? We're just about to jump into uh, Barn Finders. <laughs> hey, Wembley. 
I'm starting a new Kickstarter project called the Elevensies. It's an affordable poker and lunch table. Yeah, that we were honestly not even kidding about that, Wimbley. Like, like this person absolutely made reference to like Lord of the Rings stuff and like and Wormwood. Literally, that we found out later when people remember I said they were gonna take him to small claims. So they started digging into the company and the company name and everything, like the legit, like, like incorporated name. They named the company Warmwood. You guys know Wormwood, right? Like the, the, the legit, like really high quality gaming table company. And, and now gaming supplies, like, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> This, this, oh, that's a new project. This is Wormwood. Like the legit, actual, or is it role playing? Where's their tables? Furniture? Probably under furniture. This is Wormwood. And, 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 and I want this. Guys, if I had, if I had screw you streamer money, like, like if I just had more content money than I knew what to do with, oh my God. They're so expensive, but they're so good. Look at this. Look at this. It's got a little crank. It comes right up to the height that you need it to. It's got the dinner topper that's magnetized. Reversible play surfaces, customizable seats that can open up and store things like character sheets. You have a seat, a seat physically, and you have a D&D &D campaign or literally any role playing thing. And it's like, nope, that's Rock's chair. And inside Rock's chair is Rock's character sheets and dice. And How? Man, magnetic rail accessories, the wood options and everything. This is the absolute king of gaming tables. Hey, Perugi. No, I made it as a D&D YouTuber if I have a Wormwood partnership, right? This is the king of D&D tables. Anyway, these guys are legit. Wormwood gaming, okay? All right. This is the name that it was incorporated as. Doing business as Second Breakfast uh, modular gaming table. I showed you guys the Kickstarter, Second Breakfast. But the actual, like, legally registered in that state name was that. We were so upset. That was one of the things where, like, it unravels, right? Where we see things like that and we're like, oh, we're not getting a table, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about the table scam rock. Yeah, yeah. Listless just got a, a gaming table and I was all excited. I was like, oh, hell yeah, you got your table. And he was like, yeah, it, um, it wasn't great. Not quite a scam, like not a scam to the point that Listless didn't get a table. It's just that it was like shoddily done and it didn't match properly with the other things that they had bought. It just... It just didn't work out well. And I was like, oh, I can say, I can like empathize with this. <clears throat> oh boy. But I'm glad you have something to game on though, Listless. And uh, please, yes, look out for my Kickstarter project coming to a uh, website near you. <laughs> Money vanished under the table. Oh god. Let's play Barn Finders, everyone. Let's let's play. Let's play something. Gonna jump on in. Oops. Yeah, no worries, Rick this. Just getting rid of the extra stuff here. We'll jump on into this. Alright. And whoop! So I did set the audio to this, but it, it appears that it didn't. Oh, here we go. All right. I can set a profile, by the way. Here's, here's the profiles. Am I getting Pokemon Scarlet? I will, I will look at it, at least. I'll look at it. It was one of the things where I was like, oh, it's a Pokemon game with co-op. I actually, this, is, this might get me back 
trying a Pokemon game because I haven't. The last one I can remember playing is Fire Red, which was the re recreation of the original Red. Um, so like the last new like re like the last new Pokemon game that's actually like new that wasn't just a recreation would have been what um Crystal because there was yeah there was Ruby. Right? There was Ruby, Emerald, and Crystal, I want to say. So that would have been the last. So I may look up. I, I may look into it. I don't know. I don't know if I want to spend that much on something that I'm not really interested in anymore. I mean, I enjoy Pokemon, but it's been quite the same. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll look at it. I'll probably wait until it's out and the reviews are in on if people enjoy it. Crystal was the expansion version of Golden Sun. Then it wasn't that. It was, it was Ruby. It was whatever the Ruby ones were. Ruby and the other. Hey, C7. Hey, Ghoul. How you doing, Ghoul? Yes, this is a chimkin in a tire. We also need to choose. I think I'm going to go with this, this uh, lady because uh, the rest of it. Look, look at these people. <laughs> look at this fucking guy. Look at this dude's smile. It's Shaggy from Scooby. It really is. He's got the green and everything. <laughs> How you doing, C7? I'm here for a bit before I got ahead to work in like an hour. Okay. All right. Something about her teeth are very unsettling to me. I'm unsettled. Yes, Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire. That was it. So I had, I had Ruby then. I had Ruby. Yeah, so I'm going to be this lady. And, uh... We'll, we'll do a new game here. You're a huge Pokemon dork? Yeah. Leo was just asking if I was going to get the new Pokemon, and I was like, maybe... I, you know, it, the, the fact that it has some co-op might... But I don't know how the, any of that works yet. How does the co-op even work? You know? What in the yeehaw is this? This is Barn Finders. This is a, a sort of like American Pickers-esque kind of thing that Monty suggested that I play and that I added as a milestone when you all raised money for UNICEF. Uh, it was one of the milestones. So... So here we go. Here we go. Digimon's good too, yeah. A lot of those series though, I stopped watching them and stuff like fairly early on, I would say. Um, like I haven't kept up with a lot of them, right? Like Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pendulum, GX, D, Racer, whatever. <laughs> I, yeah, I, and, and, uh, Digimon, I remember the se season, I think it was only season two, where they had Ken, and he was like Emperor, and he was like making Digimon fight in the Colosseum for his amusement. Um, and then he straightened out his hair and became a good guy in the following season. So I, I want to say that that was like three seasons of Digimon that I know, but after that, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Leo, damn. Dark Digigears? Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Let's play Barn Finders. Am I sure that I want to start a new game? Yes? I... What's that, a chicken noise? Uncle Billy is your oldest uncle. Want to buy stuff? We have stuff. Barn Finders. Oh, this is going to be... What the hell did Monty recommend to me? Use resources to fix broken items. Okay. <laughs> Could sleep for an hour or so. Am I gonna get DMCA for this? Truck stuck here on the side of this road, and there's good folks counting on. The shitty thing is, my family would probably enjoy this song. That's why I drive my 18 wheeler across this big old land. 
Lady Dragon Sebastian. What did that say? Dark Samaya? Who? Bobby Gray and Agent Agent. This dude doing auctions. Got my wife and kids back home and they're proud to know I'm a US working man. Dark Samantha. Okay. I don't know. I'm a US working man. Is this is this a is this a new like is this a new TV show on Spike or something? Largely Ameri America, similar to America, but not quite. Hey, 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 hey. Wake up, young and our generator is down. Oh my God, Monty, please get a battery from our truck and fix it. Let's work awful hard. Our vacation awaits. Wait, should I be doing that in an accident? I guess I should. Why am I standing on the bed? And why am I 10,000? Wait. I unplugged my controller. I don't want to. Okay, what the hell is this? A comic page. <laughs> I'm scared of this part of it. This is what I imagine every American being like. Was that Superman? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oregon kebab moment drink cola coca okay oh I can open up I got nothing in here but I can open them oh wait pills wait valuable trash taking this trash what is this okay I guess I got my I somehow have like a money garbage processor so the minute i find something valuable i could just grind it into i guess like cheeto dust is what they use in this part of the south so i'll just recycle this into money me and my daughter sister wife believe in the sanctity of marriage the bible says adam and shotgun not adam and steve oh no all right i'm recycling all that what the hell is this thing who is this? Who is this? What? Wait, wait. I gotta rotate it. What is this? All right. Why is there a little doodle of like the dude? What? Wait, what did that say? Equip upgrade gun to change? Oh, oh, okay. I thought, your poster here. All right. What about this? Oh, there's nothing I can do with this. Okay. Can I can I turn on the light? No. Hey, Rictus. Watch this one of the devs or something. Oh, more garbage that I can recycle. Even the coffee mug. If I wanted coffee, fuck you. It's, it's garbage. Drinks in the fridge? Pure garbage. Complete and utter slop. Oh, that's an interesting. What does that say? Smoky Warga chewing tobacco. I'm sorry. Is that a Smoky Warga chewing tobacco in a pop can and it says tobacco free? This is tobacco free chewing tobacco that comes in a pop can. Kind of fu what kind of fever dream of a game am I playing? I am going to have a strong talking to with Monty. But for now, I'll recycle a bunch of beer, I guess. Chewing tobacco flavored pop. Yeah. Oh, what about this? Oh, no, I can't do anything with that. What about these cupboards? Nothing? All right. Nothing. I, I appear to have... In, in true southern redneck fashion, I seem to have a desk lamp completely wired into a beam across. And, like there's no <laughs> switch or anything for it. I guess it just goes in there, feeds in there, and there's electrical running through that beam, I guess. That's... 
That's cool. All right, let's leave our shack. I, oh, get car battery from the car's trunk. Put it into the generator. Use your computer to find jobs and travel all over America. You mean Redneck Ontario? <laughs> and only one light switch for two lights. Yeah, it's, it's very general, you know? It's okay, so what do I got? Can I recycle this? Oh, it's valuable too. All right, this trash is worth something. Uh. Oh, I got some pretty good strength. Good, good for me. Is there more trash out here? Oh, I can recycle this used paint can that somebody absolutely wants. Nice, 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 nice. This is actually based on Northern Ontario. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Repoplums. I hate this. Just sell your garbage. Uh oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. And I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bold of you to assume that there's anywhere to wash your hands or flush. It's literally a bucket. It's not even a proper outhouse like with any sort. It's just a bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> hey, at least, at least it's, it's uh, you know, both genders though. That's, that's fine, I guess. Can we recycle this hard hat? No. Build cleaning station. I can't. No. All right. It's a liberal toilet. Hey, what the fuck is this? Why is this? Wall skin? All right. I got a wall upgrade. Very cool. What about these? Yeah, that, that, was, a, that was a bit perhaps poor way of phrasing it, Listless. But you know what I mean. Successfully shat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, are we a store? Do we have hours? Oh no. Out of order. What is this? Love the PS2S floating rotating collectibles. <laughs> yeah. Wait. No, that's carry stuff. This is a what is this? You've got mail. It's a repair station. What about this little shitter? Shitty beginnings. <laughs> what? To enter study mode? Why would I want to... Yamaha back wheel. The back wheel of the beloved Yamaha motorbike. Designed by the esteemed Manuel Bananas. It was a bold, groundbreaking approach for its time. I might... I might move my camera just slightly. Let me... Let me just... Uh... Bump myself up there a bit. All right. Well, I didn't expect it. I didn't know that it was going to do any, any of that. Oh, I have gas. Added one gas. Okay. That's cool. I can care. Wait. Oh, I dearly want... The fuck? Why did he just poof? What happened there? What? What was that? <laughs> was that like? <laughs> is this this for? Is that the game's version of Navi? Is it like, hey, listen there, varmint. Oh, hey, a chicken. Oh shit. Wait, is it dead? Did I kill it by picking it up? Why is it junk all of a sudden? Oh, I think I killed the chicken. <laughs> I think I picked it up and killed it. <laughs> no, it's still good. It's... Oh! 
Did someone just shoot an arrow at me? What the hell was that? Oh, it was me clipping through the tree. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this game is wild. All right, I got a men's perfume potion. Oh, I suck at this. Hold on. Uh. Ah, fuck. Wait. Uh. Damn it. I hate this. This is a stupid game. Meemaw will be pleased. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to recycle. Which also leads me to believe they deliberately stopped it at 69. I would not put it past this game. Wait. I got a floor upgrade. A flup grade, if you will. Game had a safety prop for starting a new game, but none for taking a shit, by the way. Yeah, you right. That's true. <laughs> what is this? Clean station. All right. What is this thing? Push to store items. No, I'm good, I think. All right, I got my battery. New mail. With every subscription, I only grow stronger. Uh, hey, Monty! <laughs> Monty, what have you done? Thanks, though. Monty! What did you do? You recommended this. <laughs> and my god. <laughs> All right, I'm going into like, what is this, a shop? Oh, that's that's good for the environment. That's really... Thank you so much, though, Monty. Damn, 39. Ugh. I am um, trying to figure it out. Oh, yeah, it's a real blast. I accidentally shat. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could do. I clicked on it, not know. I was like, oh, can I, like, open the door? Is there something in here? And it just... Yeah. The land of America, your homeland. And nothing else matters. There's a Miko shop. Wait, can I can I recycle this? I can. Okay, so they didn't just leave it at turn radio on or off. Change Miko Rock and News Radio Station. What is this? Equip upgrade gun to change. What? Oh. Where's the upgrade gun? Build big shelf, medium shelf. Can I equip upgrade? I don't have an upgrade gun. Whatever. In the upgrade holster. <laughs> Barnhub.com. Dare I? Dare I? I'm so worried about clicking on this. I'm so so worried about it. Comic app. Oh. Dog cops, comic book. I have none of these, apparently. How do I get out of it? Oh, there we go. Item catalog. I have no items at all. All right. What about this? Working flashlight. There's equipment skins? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Here we go. The land of America. One gas and $72. The big C. Owned by Uncle Billy since 1981. This store finds, fix, clean, and sell different types of items. South Marolino. All right. Mick Cornhaller. 
A naughty stag for a friend. Well, first of all, I'm checking my mail. Dear old bastard 345, we thank you for being a loyal customer at Farm Milfs, a subsidiary company of Miko. As a symbol of our gratitude, we're giving you a free pass to download our Miko item catalog when it will be available. All right. <laughs> this is a lot to take in, Kens. Yeah. All right, what about this? It's not a trick to get it bigger. Try our Winnie Body and Energex pills available now. We have more than 18,985, done the European way, American men amazed by their Winnie growth. Register online for a free sample. Americans would have used a comma. So, call your mom. Yeah. The chicken mail, if you go back, the mail doesn't load. So this is at least accurate in terms of like old ass windows. <laughs> I'm feeling like I'm watching an alternate universe where the Civil War went in the other direction. <laughs> we also use commas. Do Europeans not? Isn't it like, is it, is it Germany or France? I've seen dots before used as, uh, as commas. Where is that done? Mega enlarge, yeah. Dog Cop. Win a movie ticket for Dog Cops, the AAA movie based on a comic. Be Canis, be Majoris. What are you waiting for? Click here. Hmm. We from Mika are always worried about our environment. We have a new recycle system and our goal is to make America a clean nation. Join us. Send us any trash for a bit of cash. Ops, we do not accept everything. Please call our hotline for more info. It should work. Oh, this wasn't made by Americans, lol. Yeah. <laughs> Commas for decimals and space separation for bigger numbers. Nordics do. Okay. Yeah, I don't know then. I don't know where the uh, the dots are. Regardless, Americans don't use the, the, the dot. Oh, the devs are Polish. Oh. Hello, barn finders. Can you help an old friend? So I heard there's still a naughty stag at the old red barn. Maybe you could find it there for you. There's money in it if you do. Thanks, Mick. So I just got to find a stag head with, with inexplicably its front hooves and also a bra and thong on it. Okay. Sh sure. Off to barn hub. Dwayne's Red Barn was a legendary spot among the Americans full of joy and excitement. Now, it just an abandoned place in the middle of Georgina State. Oak Mound Road, Georgina. <laughs> Here we go. What is this, Mad Max? What are they fucking... <laughs> Why? Why is everything apocalyptic and desert? <laughs> There's no road. Oh, God. Oh, we get a little, we get a little cutscene of the area. We get a little camera panning. That's good that they put in that effort, at least. This feels like that Japanese baseball game with the American Nets. This is like Borderlands-esque, where it slid, like shows you and then slaps it up. Yeah, Bob's and Dugnut. <laughs> Don't kill that chicken. I'll do my best. Look for a naughty stag and other things to recycle. Oh, as a barn finder, your job is to find requested items. Look for other valuable items. You can sell them in your shop. Search for additional items and secrets. Maps are full of them. Well, at least they gave us additional secrets. Can I get up there? What's up there? All right, let's see. Bundles of things. Now recycle that. Recycle that. All sorts of things to recycle. Can I get on the roof? Hold on. Oh. Apparently this trash that was strewn on the ground is worth something. Ooh, a collectible. All right, 
I don't know why we needed a four second countdown for that. Are people gonna be chasing me at some point? Is time gonna matter that much? That I have to wait for four seconds for it to... Naughty Stag was my nickname in high school. I just questioned that feature. You can sell items you find. Sell them to who? <laughs> I've only seen uncle. What's his nuts? Oh, I'm getting everything. Look at this. What is this? That is an ugly wall. I want it. Can I get up there? I sell it to the internet. We use the internet to travel, apparently, so... What the fuck is that? Is that an alien? Who the hell is that? All right, I gotta go find that person now. All oh, that famous red barn. Let's explore around and take all stuff. Okay, Uncle Billy. Let's get to work. <laughs> Got that chick. Come here, chicken. Come here, you. Give me that fucking chicken. Where is he? Come here. <laughs> Alright. Is there more? Oh! Here's crap on the ground. And I'm going. Oh! It was an alien! It was a dancing alien or some shit. Did you guys see that? What in the goddamn? Why? Why is that a thing? And where'd he go? What, what the hell is this? Oh, moonshine. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> What? What is happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. What? Is this Bioshock? Did I just get a superpower? I drank a thing and they gave me like an old timey like weirdo. Caught me on camera. Hey, hat. What alien, Shay? You had some poor quality moonshine. I guess so. All right, let me. We got a floor upgrade. Oh, what? The hell is this? High five wolf collectible. Yeah. All right, sweet. I got a wolf collectible. I'm very happy about that. Oh, I didn't show you guys the other thing we picked up at the antique place. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. Oh, got some more money there. Okay, I, I, can't, I can't get in that way. What if I just, what if I just, <laughs> oh yeah, I got, I got another, uh, I got another several sponsorship opportunities. One as usual is raid. Magic spoon came back. Anyone, do you guys want to do a sponsorship for breakfast cereal? Like healthy breakfast cereal. Oh my gosh. Go. Go. Wait. Can I throw it? Oh, I'm very strong. I'm very strong. Hold on. You wanted to try Magic Spoon? Really? I actually, I don't know if it's good, Woo. Oh, hey, Woo. Honestly, Woo, if I tried it, there, there's a code where it gives you some, I, I believe. There's a discount or something like that. The marketing, the box art is nice. I had never heard of it, actually. But what I appreciated about it is 
Uh, it works as far as I know for Canadians. It works for, for everyone who does it. Hey, Woo, I, I mentioned you, I played, I played Christmas music at the beginning of this stream. It was just for you, but I didn't see you. <laughs> I'm sorry you missed Christmas, but hi. But yeah, I'll look at it. You got it too, eh, Rick? This. I'll uh, I'll have a look. Might be something we can do. It's been a couple of months. I have to look at the details of it. All right, I'm recycling all these books. So the company isn't like awful people. I mean, yeah, that would be good if they weren't. It seems decent because it's like they claim that it tastes really good. Like the breakfast cereal. They have like comparisons, right? Where they're like, oh, do you like um that popular peanut butter breakfast cereal? Well, we have this one. And they're like, yeah, it tastes really good, but it doesn't have all the sugar and everything right like it it's it's supposed to be healthy but does not sacrifice on taste so i mean we'll see saw the name and was like what is this me too the first time i ever saw it i was like what the hell is magic spoon and then i clicked into it i was like oh it's cereal <laughs> yeah what intrigued me about it too was I don't believe uh, it's not, you can do a subscription thing, but I don't believe, and I have to look and make sure, I don't believe that the campaign is a subscription thing. Like, I'm pretty sure if we did the sponsorship, it would just be like, hey, here's a code and you can try their cereal and order some. You don't have to subscribe or anything like that. So it's like, it literally is one of those like, oh, if you've been wanting to try it or if you're like healthy breakfast cereal, you say. But yeah, I'll, I'll look at it. <laughs> Magic Spoon sounds like something drug related. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. Wait, no, I need this. It's a frog collectible. But yeah, as you all know, I've been... Uh, I've been raising funds to to get a revamp of the channel done, um, which has been going pretty well. I I have I want to say like eight hundred and something saved up to eventually be able to commission uh, a bunch of of artwork. So. Getting a new Shay. No, nobody, nobody will ever be as cool as. <laughs> Couldn't even do it. <laughs> new Shay. Aw, woo. No, I'm not going anywhere, woo. Sad faced me on it. Damn. Ah. <sighs> But yeah, so, you know, that's that's part of doing some of these sponsorships is part of my effort to uh, to raise some funds uh, in a way that isn't, you know, necessarily just people giving money. You know what I mean? Uh, it'll still take a little bit longer. Oh, woo! Because you missed it, I also said that I would give some info this week. Uh, new... I would give some info this week on the D&D one-shot that I'm going to be running. So, keep an eye out for that as well. Oh, I could just recycle that mattress? Who the hell wants a dirty used mattress that's in a barn? Why is that... Whatever. <clears throat> Come to be interested to hear about that. I'll let them know. Thank you. I appreciate that, Rickbus. Oh, I need the key. Oh, I got some gas. <clears throat> what about this? What is this? It's a horse 
DVD. Ah, good old pony. A pony 14 TV. And a Ro Roy Daver chair. Wait, is this room by room? Hold on a minute. Wait. Like actually? Because it says items left. And it's like sort of half done. And then I go out. Wait. Huh? Yeah, there's the key. I'm taking this key. The only play that have horses in them. Wait. Uh. Oh, it just like added some more. Oh, the items are for the whole area. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, I'm putting this here. Ooh, sunny cat. That looks cool. Some of the stuff it looks like I might like display. Do I have a flashlight? I don't I don't think I have a flashlight. Oh, I can go up there. Are these candles? Alright, I got a thirsty cola thing. Oh, I got the body of the motorcycle. I don't have a flashlight, but I do have a motorcycle. Or no, a wheelbarrow and a cat statue up my ass. <laughs> oh, what is this? Black magic manual? I, I would like to do some black magic, please. Yes. What is this? Oh, it's just a milk... All right. <clears throat> Up I go. Oh, I got a comic page. Oh, no. Yeah, I'll definitely sell this to someone. Where the hell's the... There it is! Wembley, what the fuck? <laughs> Rictus, what the fuck? Eh, I did it! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, God. Can I break my legs? Please. Please let me break my legs. We can go back to the pawn shop. Or keep it small and small. All right. Let me just kill this chicken. Hold on. I kicked it. I kicked it by accident. Holy shit. How do I go back? I'm done here. I'm done here, Billy Bob. Can I leave? How do I leave? Puzzle pieces? What is this? Shirley Love is an inflatable plastic sex doll produced into per Frank Goat Corp. No, I'm good. The number of manuscripts from the late 1600s on subjects like voodoo, methods of detecting a witch, and handy tips on how to summon Satan. Like this asks you to do one thing and yet chicken chaser. <laughs> Can we go? Let's go. Uh, interesting. The human specimen shows great potential. I will spawn random earth objects, continuing the experiment. Could barn finders be the ones to save us? Why is this like a weird prop hunt storyline? Oh, I didn't get a golden paper. 
How do I get a golden paper? What is that? <laughs> Take it easy, C7. I'm so glad that I'm an American. I thought the game crashed just there. <laughs> Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out and wasting your time on this. <laughs> now what? When ready, go to sleep at janitor's room. I unload the truck by pressing the button on the storage station. Use secondary action button to place items on the shelves automatically. Open the shop during the day to start selling items. Okay. Can I... I'm sorry, is somebody farting? Dirty, broken, assembly. Okay. It is post standing on a custom wood bay. How do I? Oh my goodness. Ah, wait. How does one clean? Purchase upgrade tool. Oh, okay. Huh? Medium wall items. Big wall items. I don't even know. I don't even know. Hello? Uh. Oh, okay. I got this wheelbarrow. What about this? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I got this wolf that's giving a high five. That's saying hi. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but I got him. What else? Uh. Okay. Uh. All right. Oh. Oh, the pony TV? Yeah? Uh, uh, uh. I guess... Oh, I've got the magic book, too. Who do you love? Oh, the wolf. I need a small shelf. Do I have a small shelf? How do I... I guess not. All right. Is there another... Do I have more mail? No. <clears throat> Welcome to Miko Shop. Oh, hell yeah. You light, illuminate dark areas, shovel, lock pick. Perfect for lazy barn finders. Build and customize your home. That's what I need. I need an upgrade gun. Dear customer. No returns. This is definitely Borderlands. All right, I guess I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to the janitor's closet. Janitor room. Well, I can you can place items on shelves by yourself. And I'm going to bed. What the hell? Uh, am I dreaming of sleeping on a pig's ass? Use computer email to pack and send naughty stag. All right. Open the shop. Use the shop sign. Otherwise, customers won't come. Where's the shop sign? The hell's... Uh... <laughs> Click on the client to start selling. You can sell, decline, or haggle for the better pl price. When you haggle, don't be too greedy or you might lose some money. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is 
All right, customers, I'm open. Oh, shit. They just pop into existence. Sir, Duke Tucker, sir, you know would you like you this amazing wolf thing? I have an offer. High five, wolf. I'm going to haggle. Let's let's haggle. Yeah. You really want it? Cool, man. Go with my wolf. Oh, uh, I really like that wolf. I should have I should have extorted him for more money. What about this guy? He wants pound, wheelbarrow. Pound, okay. Pound, pound. Oh, you didn't even give me a better price? Here, let me haggle with you. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> A little much, but I'll take it. $28. I don't know. I like that first guy. He was much better than you, but I need money, so you can have it. No, that guy paid me over asking by quite a bit. And oh, now, I, now the chair's in there. All right, I got the chair in there. What's happening? Where? Oh. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's kind of rude. You're just going to give me a shelf price for the... Okay. Oh. $77? That seems pretty lucky. You can have it. Damn, all right. She was really excited to get that uh, TV that didn't work. <laughs> I pulled out of an old garage, uh, barn. This guy wants to do magic. Hello, my lad. Yeah. All right. He's willing to pay a little bit more, but I'm nothing if not. Oh. Yeah. Give me all your money. He was an easy person to haggle with. All right. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I, yeah, you're right, Rock. I know when I go into a place, I'm just like, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. That book is so cool. <laughs> oh, this man's happy. Good for him. Yeah, give me more money. Yes, I'm so good. I'm the greatest salesman. There you go, buddy. Ha! Wait, could I have haggled twice? I gotta try that next time. It looked like it said haggle one, and I don't know if that was like attempts remaining or like you could just do it again. You could just be like, what about 44? He's like, all right, I'll pay you 44. I'm like, actually, fuck that. How about 50? <laughs> I wanna make that happen. Just be the scummiest <laughs> salesman that people buy from. All right, how do I send this thing? Pack and send. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, uh, no, I need to buy. Welcome to Nico yes, I can buy the upgrade gun. You can tell you have great taste. Let's see. Slow speed tool for digging spots. Lock pick. Should I get an axe? And a, and a light? Nico, that's a great purchase. All right, I did it. Oh, I can upgrade these. Oh. Dear customer, no returns. Maybe I need a lockpick. With upgrade gun, you can customize your pawn shop. Use it to customize shelves, wall, floors, and posters. Build stations to clean, repair, and assemble. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. I spent my money on the axe. I should have built a cleaning station. How much is it for a cleaning station? $358. Ah. Zero dollars. What the hell is this? Wait, what? what? Oh, it's already there. Oh, it's just nothing. Man, I need money. <laughs> All right, I have a new plan. Give me some money, Uncle Billy. Give me money. Clean, dirty items used in the cleanest station. Okay. Go play some basketball. No, I'm good, Uncle Billy. What about my what about my flashlight? 
All right. That that could be useful, I guess. Oh, we're closed now. I don't have anything to sell. Everything I have is dirty and unassembled. Hey, kid. A new tournament. Oh, wait. This is from Uncle Billy? Hey, kid. A new tournament. Miko Bid Wars just started. Let's go to the bridge storage and win this. The final round. Give us tickets to Hawaii. If you find a car engine now, send it to Cousin Kevin. Okay. Time to go to Barn Hub. Wait. Since 1918, Santa Alva City has hosted bid events. I... I can't go there. I don't have enough gas. And I don't have enough money to buy gas. <laughs> what? How do I... What? Did I just soft lock myself? Or, oh, hold on. Oh. Fuck. I don't have a shovel to... What about... Can I chop this up? Oh! <gasps> What was that? What? Oh, I got a bit of string. All right. Oh, shit. I got a gear. Can I chop down these trees? Oh, there goes that. How do I... Can I chop the chicken? How do I make money? <laughs> How do I do this? Wait. We're picking it up from my own place. Apparently this America doesn't acknowledge other co countries on Earth in its maps, but it'll place the moon in the middle of the sea. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm getting I'm getting items, but I don't think this really helps me. I can't. Okay, more stuff to dig if I if I had a shovel. All right, I got some wood planks. That's cool. <laughs> this is so dumb. Wait. I have $31. That's not nearly enough. I need $50. <laughs> can I go wait can I go wreck my um can I go wreck my where I sleep hold on oh, I can <laughs> take that chair take that other chair okay I can't wreck that wait what about this oh <gasps> yes I destroyed the tea kettle. What did that say? Oh, pawn shop poster. I don't care about that. I, don't th I think I'm ruining things. I'm done ruining things. Wait. Okay. You could always go back to the barn. Oh, can I? Really? Oh. Yeah! Is this skippable? Oh, it's a it's a loading screen. How did I make you mad, Leo? Use resources to fix broken items. Travel to bridge storage, look for car and... Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, yeah. The aliens came. Yes. And they were like, yo, why don't I just put a bunch of random crap here? I don't want to go back to the pawn shop. I need money. I need to keep exploring some mo. I'm gonna ch the only difference is this time I'm going to chop my way to victory through everything. You guys got to be my eyes and ears for crap that I miss, okay? 
I'm gonna be poor. I'm gonna have to do this a third time, and nobody, nobody wants that. <laughs> that should have exploded. If I know anything about video games, that absolutely should have blown up in my face. Why do I hear? Do you guys hear that? Oh, it's the golden doodle. Oh crap, I broke everything. I can't get in there. Wait. Fuck. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, let me get up there. No, it's fine, Rock. It's fine. <laughs> Is there a stamina bar in this game? Did I just run out of stamina? My guy stopped running. Hold on, I got this. All right. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, oh my God, I can't get up on this. What about now? Yes! Yes! Oh, come on! Oh, hey, Mew! Ah, thank you, Mew! And hello! Alright. Uh, I gotta stack more stuff to get up there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Hold on, hold on. Now I just need... This This will hopefully work. This is, this is the worst stacked stuff, but it's... I'm doing it. Wait. Yes. 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 Yeah! Oh, I hate that. I... I why? All right, I can see I can see everything from here. Remember, you can rotate items. Yeah, thanks, thank you, Monty. I uh, thankfully I didn't need to. My my janky way of doing things somehow worked. Now I'll go back to ruining everything. Yes. Oh, what is this? The bucket. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. It dropped string. Did y'all see that? Where the hell did the string go? I Oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. I'm going to have so many of these before I even need to. Okay, let's go into the barn. Let's get some items. Items? No items? Why does Rictus have a blue square? Oh, Rictus has an artist uh, thing. Rock. I've, uh, I've commissioned Rictus in the past and he is an artist here. So I, I gave him a little art thingy. It's not just a square. Your yours might be broken. It it has a little paintbrush in the center. There's like a white circle with a little bl blue paintbrush. So maybe yours isn't showing up right. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's Rick. This is his best example of art, honestly. That's it's the greatest thing that he's ever done. Can I? These days you might be right there. Oh, come on, Rectus. <laughs> if 
fuck off with that. <laughs> Alright, I got I got some more objects. Oh Tornado RZ. Okay. I think I think we're almost good to It's just as long as a customer buys one of these things off of me. Why did a candle turn into rope? Is it trying to tell me that I salvaged the wick out of it? <laughs> why is why is the a cone collectible? Why is a traffic cone collectible? Oh God, I'm I'm out of here. We're we're going. Good. Wait, don't I have to dump this in the back first, or? No, I guess not. All right, we're done here. Yeah, the wick. Ah, I got the golden paper, yeah. All right, let's leave. Yeah, the wick, the wick of the candle. Did I just like rip it out of the candle and use it? You'll need to pay extra to move big machines. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's stupid. Please. All right. Wait. Oh, wait. I need to put some sh stuff on the shelves. Hold on. All right, I did it. Wait, was that all my stuff? Oh, damn. All right. The shop is now open. Y'all need to give me some money. Any second now. Any second now. Customer! Uh, was that Simlish? Oh, I'm gonna double haggle this person. Yeah! Oh! Did that go back down? Ah, whatever. She's giving me a lot for a little lamp. Thank you! Teleportation jutsu. Yeah, everyone here is like a ninja. Oh, see? See? Gone. Ninja. All right, this man is only marginally happy. He's like, listen, I want this. Whatever it is. Uh-oh. I still want it, but I won't pay more. The hell you won't. Damn it. Fine. Whoa, whoa. All right, how much is it to upgrade this thing again? $358, I don't have that much money. I'll just wait for more people to buy my traffic cone and length of tube. <laughs> I just need a guy who's in construction. Hello, sir. You seem like you would build a tower or something. Can I interest you in a hard hat and some length of tube? Oh, okay. You do want a hard hat. And you'll definitely pay more for my hard hat. Like, a lot more. Like, this man really needs a hard hat. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> With every subscription, I only grow oh, hey, stronger! <laughs> a slightly above average and 17 Thanks, months. Though. Damn, damn, that's almost a year and a half. Holy, thank you so much. What does this guy want? He wants a length of tube. Sir, I need you to pay me uh, at least $1 more. 
Yeah. Let's let's go again. He really needs that length of tube. Like he really needs it. Was he saying mmm the entire time? <laughs> he needed any hat to cover his baldness. How you doing, Nat? It was a high price tube, but there was a lot of it. Did you see? Um uh oh. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna need a little more than that. Guy who's definitely not suspicious. Let's go again. Oh, okay. All right, I sold my tube. Now, is that enough for the upgrade station? I feel like it was pretty close. 358, damn it. Ugh. Fine, whatever. Let's go to that auction. Yeah, I'm glad to be back, Nat. Let's go to Barn Hub. We'll buy some gas and go to the auction. This game was going to be more wholesome, like C Canadian Pickers, but it's not. <laughs> Isn't the radio great? Oh, shit. We're playing Storage Wars now. I want, I want that. Yep. I want the one with the balloons. Talk to bridge storage. Look for a car engine. Well, first of all... Yeah, give me that money. How much money did that give me? Oh, not very much. Okay, fine. Oh, I, I skipped that. What did that say? I... Oh, that's useful. Wait, what the hell? Um... Okay, I'm on this one. Interact with an auctioneer to begin a series of small auctions. The winner is the person with the most value of stuff collected in storages. Winner of the bid wars, get a special prize. The big machine. Use chicken sonar. Sometimes your customers have some additional items they want to sell. Use bee smoker to calm down bees. Each usage costs wood resources. Bees can kill you if you get too close to them. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, game. I'm back to work from being suspended last week, and I had a heart attack when I got a notice email that my rent hasn't been paid since October. I just got off the phone with her, and it turns out that the system just didn't show. I paid a few days late. Okay, so you're... Okay, so that's taken care of, Nat. That's good. I'm glad that wasn't legit, and you're good to go. And I'm glad you're back at work. You're living back with your uncle. That's some great news. But oh no, I'm not doing the accent. That's unfortunate. Lady Dragon Samantha. Is this Dark Samantha or is this regular Samantha? Allergic to bees feels bad. Especially because I even made sure to check my back. Your bank. Yeah, your bank. And the payment was taken. Good, good, good. Yeah. I'm waiting. I transferred some money over. I'm just waiting for it to come. It hasn't come through yet. I'm like, did I hit the right button? <laughs> but yeah, I'm so glad you're... That must be a relief that, you know, you're back and able to get some paychecks. All right, let's talk to Samantha. Are you ready to lose, kid? Gonna smoke oil alive? What? Your uncle smells like a drunken pig. I mean, he is, but what's it to you? Yeah. Uh, 
I'm breaking your stuff. Oh wait, I might need I might need to build a makeshift ladder, so never mind. Never mind, never mind. I'm not gonna break the stuff yet. Hello, barn finders. Welcome to our special event. There's a shop. Auction. This man's name is auction? Start the auction. I'm just like picking around the trash on the ground. Everyone else is getting ready for the auction. I'm just taking like used diapers and throwing it in the back of my truck. <laughs> Mr. Auction to you. How's y'all's mother? Duke Tucker. Wait, you bought the, the wolf from me. The name is Duke, old freako. And stay away from my mama. Only had one really shitty caller. Called herself a Christian. Definitely one of those that uses religion to be an asshole. Awesome. Uh, hopefully you could just like slide yourself out of that situation. Uh. Damn, there was no delay on that, Nat. Holy crap. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. I bought an axe. I can do it. Yeah. Oh, God. I hate that they play fart noises every time. Wait. <sighs> I returned with weighted blankets and tea. Hell yeah. I see the yeehaw is still very yee and ha. <laughs> God can't help you on this call, man. <laughs> oh, I don't think Matt can say that. She'd be suspended again. Miko is the real face of America. All right. Sir, do you just have no personality? What? All right, let's do the auction. Can I grab the road close sign? I don't know. Can I? Nope. <gasps> Wait, that's a devious plan. Monty. If I put the road close sign here. Uh oh. Oh, oh God. Wait. If I put it here and I put a bit of a barricade to make it look legit, they'll all think that there's no auction today. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, folks. The auction's closed. Something happened. So the three of you can just go home now. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Put it in the trunk? Oh, no, I can't do that. I don't think I can... Because it has me mark items, right? I don't think... I don't think I can do that. No. Waiting for your manager to talk to you about it. Nat's going to come here in like a week and be like, Well, <laughs> looking for new work. Spin, 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 spin. Road's closed. All right, let's do this auction. Yes. Hey, Yogan, that's 600 IO. You kick their eggs. Oh, how do I? How do I? What the fuck? I would like to bid more. Am, am I winning? I will still bid a little bit more. With every subscriber, it's me. I only grow I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Alright, I did it. Hey, Scar. 
Good day, Mr. Butter. Hey, Scar, you and Nat came in at the same time. You're both at 17 months subbed. You're both at like a year and a half that, uh, that you started, uh, I was going to say liking me, but just because you're sub doesn't mean, well, no, the, no, the other way around. <laughs> Not just because you're sub doesn't mean you like me. Just because you like me doesn't mean you have to sub. So you, you might have been in here for more than a year and a half, but <laughs> yeah, Nat's been here longer than 17 months. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. At first I was going to say, oh, you've clearly been here 17 months, but like, no. Yeah, I appreciate it. 17, damn. Almost a year and a half of seven. Then a year and a half of me having excess money. Yeah, 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 exactly. What What did Rock say? Where's Rock's? I mean, Woo's subbed, so. Wow! Woo's been subbed from the beginning, okay? Woo, at the very least, wants me to continue doing what I'm doing. What did Ken's get? Oh, God. Chamomile and lemongrass. Oh, lemongrass. Hawthorn, blackberry leaf, and tilia flower? Holy crap, that seems decadent, Ken's. All right, I won this storage war bid. Okay. All right, everyone keep track. That was what, $3? I need to make at least $325 out of this, this storage locker. So everyone just count with me. That's $6. I'm gonna start cutting up things. I don't know the value of a piece of wood yet. So or bits of string. I'm sorry, did I just fart when I crouched? Oh my gosh, he farts every now and then. That is so dumb. That's so stupid. Yes, it, I, they probably are used to repair things. I just don't know what the value is. You know, like a dollar amount. So that's five things at $3, so $15 and various bits of string. Oh, a fuse. Excuse me. Excuse me? Oh, okay. It said I could mark it as a collectible, but apparently not. I'll mark this one, though. I gotta go pick this up so it stops blooping at me. Ding. I don't know that we'll make our value back. Might have to be those collectibles. Um, what What the hell kind of storage lock? Is this a storage bunker? <laughs> Why is there another level down? What? <laughs> I wasn't sure about this game, but the fart feature won me over. Same as Scar, I just now actually have excess money. Well, I, I do appreciate it very much, everyone. You guys, uh, like I said, I've just been putting away the the uh, extra funds. I, I've used obviously some of the funds when I get payouts to like, that's how I bought um, uh, Gotham Knights so Snake and I could play. But yeah, I've, uh, I'm saving it up so that we can, we can do something real nice with the little revamp and the emotes and stuff. And I appreciate all your support in general. It, it's really nice being able to like, actually get payouts and uh and have some funding from something that i really really love doing you know all 
I can't, I can't break this, uh, Staples Office Depot basket. <laughs> oh, hey! Look, the flags! Including, you know, United States, even though clearly that's not what this place is. This is America with a Y. But, you know. Champion of USA. They ran out of assets. Why is Portugal white? I, it looks like, it looks like these are just metal. Like for whatever reason, these flags are like metal and they were bolted on and Portugal's just missing. It's just missing for some reason. <laughs> That was a massive fuse that I just put in there. That is a very high-tech storage station. All right, I'm continuing. Oh, 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 oh. Auto parts. Hell yeah. It's the bat cave. <laughs> we must continue. I got some wheels. Ding, ding. What else? What else? What else? What is that noise? It's it's the wall skin, Nat. Oh, no. Nat just went to check her, like, uh, her, like, smoke alarm or something. And it's the game. It's, yeah, it's the game, Nat. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, it just keeps going, this place. Where? Where is that? Where is that going? Is that supposed to be air conditioning? That's an air conditioner. Going to the concrete nothing. What? It's ductless. Yeah, all right, Monty. I muted you and it stopped happening and still took me a minute to realize it. <laughs> Alright, I think we might I think we might be making our money back on this one. Shay, you need a channel mascot, like a cute animal waifu and an animal. May I suggest a rat? We can call the community the Shay Andrats. I already have two! I've got Shea Butter. I've got Shea Butter, who I can show you a couple pictures of. And I've got Barbarous. Annika's the mascot. Hmm. Yeah, I got I got a couple of pictures of the, the Shea Butter, actually, that I can show you. Yeah, swear rats. The Anna cats. Let's list about to be banned for unknown reasons. Oh no, the mascot's gone rogue. Why is there nothing in here? Why would they put this here and then just have there be absolutely nothing? That's a little disappointing, isn't it? Oh, damn. Got a little gas tank. Ah, speaking of, there was gas there. Hell yeah. Oh, <gasps> the front wheel of that bike. What? Mark for transport. Oh, it'll take $150 to transport it, but I'll do it. Waiting, finish the map. Oh, okay. What about down here? Uh, uh. Yes. I'm going to need so much garbage. Okay. Eh. Eh. Is there like another secret hidden back room? This is just for like changing oil and working on vehicles. 
Why is there, why is there a f fuck? What is, what? Why is this here? <laughs> There's no reason. Nobody would ever build this like this. Whatever, I'm collecting the money. I mean, it's pretty rad having a cool little, you know, hangout area, but like, holy shit. It's the secret break room that they just happen to put an entire car engine on. Cool, I found the job item. I got a TV. Okay, yeah. we're done now. Yeah. God, that noise every time you do it. All right, let's leave. We're leaving. When you put a car engine in your living room, I mean, maybe if I wanted to do something unique and like make the coffee table out of a car engine, but. <laughs> Ready, get out, get out. Yeah. With every subscription. Oh my, who now? <laughs> oh, it's Ken's. He's yeehaw on his way to a 19, Thanks, 19 months. No, 19 and 19. That was perfect, Nat. That was so good. I enjoyed it. Okay, I gotta repair that. With every subscription. Oh, damn. Oh, now Rock's going. Y'all are. You're gone. <laughs> 37 so. months and a 17. 7 and 7. Oh, now we're 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 on the hype train thing. Oh no, someone's got to do it. Sub gift. Blah 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 blah. Let's leave the map. Didn't even realize it was the same number for Ken's. Yeah, nineteen and nineteen. All right, I got everything. I'm the greatest picker ever. Three years, two months, and nine days. God damn. Two years, one month, two days, three hours. It gives right down to the hour. I, uh, yeah. I hope it's been worth it, everyone. I appreciate y'all. Four years, two months, one day, and three hours. Wow, is it really four years? Holy crap. Damn. Four years, two months, 22 days, and 21 hours. Damn, Wu and Rock are uh, trundling along pretty early, huh? Now y'all are doing it. Ficky wage? <laughs> what is the Ficky wage of <laughs> shit? I don't know why I like that word so much. That was awesome, Kappa. <laughs> Here, nine months. Yeah. All right. Let's make let's make the the cleaning station or whatever. Wait, how many things are dirty and how many things are? What what do we got? What do we got? Uh, two things dirty, two broken, and then some assembly. All right. 9k are close. Yeah, yeah. For Puplums, you're a baby at one year? No, you're not. Ah, you guys are good. All right. Nico's cleaning station allows you to clean dirty items. Dirty items have the dirty icon. Put item on the cleaning station. On clean it with a secondary action button. Okay, let's, let's, let's on clean it. How do we... How do we, how do I put an item here? The fuck? Hello? Item? Do I actually have to like go and get one? Hold on. 
With every subscription, I only grow stronger! Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Alpin! Oh, there is a hype train now! Thanks, Nine months! Hell yeah! You got your new badge! Oh, 22% done! Four and a half minutes! We can get some emotes! Okay, so I'm gonna take this thing and uh oh here we go all right is it is it is it done where's the stink coming from is it how do i know when it's done I know. Oh, oh, okay. I I got it. I didn't see what spot was dirty, but I got it. So I guess I'm finished now. I can put this back into storage. Uh. Oh, I better clean the sex doll if I want to sell it. I'm going to judge whoever comes in. And, no, actually. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That should be normalized. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not going to kink shame whoever wants to buy this. Oh, this one actually is getting cleaner. Like, it actually, I can see it appreciably getting cleaner. Hold on. Did you guys see that? And you just hose Sally down or whatever. I'm judging the fact they're buying a used sex doll. Okay, Nat. Well, how do I how how do I make sure it's clean? How do I? It just kind of worked the last time. How long do I got to do this for? I'm gonna judge that you're buying it at a gas station. Oh, it was her hand. Okay. All right, I did it. I'm not alone on this fact. Suddenly, power wash simulator. It's a host hoe. I mean, but it was used so little judgment. <laughs> you don't know if it was used that way. Maybe it just got dirty up in the bed. Maybe someone was just cuddling with it. Okay. Now, how do I make, how do I, where's the repair station and how much is that going to set me back? Hold on. Yes, I would love to assemble some stuff. Oh. He's a rebadged Joe. It is fitted with a turbocharged. Yeah, okay. How do I, ah, oh, here we go. Repair station. How much? $800. Holy crap. What about this? Assembly station, $700. This is all so much. Okay, fine. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to bed. Was that a mattress in a barn from a horror movie? <laughs> Shay, I miss. They're just misunderstood, Propoplums. Every time you buy something used, there's a non-zero chance that item was also gently used. <laughs> I'm going up bed. No, I didn't sell the engine. I gotta, I gotta wait till morning, and then I'm gonna use the computer or whatever. Yeah, here we go. See, now I can send it. I can also put items up to here. Aha! Oh wait, don't I need this? Don't I need? Hmm. Oh no, they're all sell items. Never mind. Never mind. Could afford an automated basketball court, but not a fucking house. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I got a big. Okay. Oh no! $16! <laughs> oh no. Hype 
train success. Oh, hell yeah. I received one hype train emote. Oh, that looks so nice. Let me share that. Oh, we all received it. That's pretty cute, isn't it? Thanks, folks. I appreciate that. All right, I got my I got my sixteen dollar sex doll on my big shelf here. Um, I think this is good. The store is open. Alpen got a fish. Alpen got someone patting a fish. <laughs> Alpen got someone slapping the salmon. <laughs> How much is the 80 bucks for the big fender? All right, that's that's better. Uh yeah, let's let's haggle. Yes, give me more money. Yeah. Yeah. Kick that guy? I didn't mean to do that. Did I? What happened? Wait, hello. Wait. Hmm. Do name Bobby Gray means anything to you? Oh, he left. What happened? Did I just stab that dude? I don't understand what happened. No, 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 no. All right, Bubba wants to buy my sex doll. Uh. But he won't pay any more for it. Nah, nah, dude. I need a little more than that. She's a treasure. What about you, Samantha? Oh yeah, you'll you'll buy the rims. Oh, oh you're still gonna give me more money. Here you go. Woo. Don't trust anyone named Bubba. <laughs> he sounds like he doesn't deserve her. Oh, I scared the thief. Oh, he was a thief. Oh, he was gonna. Oh. So that's that about it, lad. Oh, yes, oh. this guy will give me some money. Oh, no, no, he oh. won't. Oh, he changed his mind. Hold on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hi, dude. Come here. Hmm. MIB serves and protects. Mostly Miko. Okay. Can, are you going to like... Okay, they, the, the government agent left and Mr. Alien showed up. Let's do it again. Yes. Aliens don't know what things are worth. Oh, hey, the thing that I cleaned up was worth 45 bucks now. Hell yeah. What? Oh, hello. Would, would you like the yeah, used please, sex please, doll? Please. Oh, you want to pay me more for the used sex doll? <laughs> oh, you really want the, the, the okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. Have fun with her. No, no, no. They don't call her Shirley Love for nothing. <laughs> oh, damn! Yes! Ooh, here we go. <gasps> this guy's gonna give me 1560 for it? Have fun! Take that all the way to Roswell! Oh, I got two grand! Woo! 
<laughs> I think Ken's died due to my question. I'm concerned that she wanted to pay more for it. I'm not, Nat. She was just a... Oh, what? She was just a nice lady who wanted the... Not like this guy. Only 45 bucks for that thing? I power washed that for hours, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You better give me five bucks more. In fact, <laughs> I need 16 more dollars. Yeah. Woohoo! Alright. I didn't I didn't really need that. But whatever. I have stuff in storage, but no room to. Huh. Alright. I Oh, I have never seen you before. Isa Kabir. And you want a tire. Okay, yeah. All right, let's 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 talk. Let's 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 haggle again. All right. Hey. I've only got two items left, so I've got some what did it do I need big shelves? What? Oh! That's why! Wait. Oh, wait! Is this guy a thief? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> why did he look like he was like a British? Like, why did that dude look like he came <laughs> out of like Peaky Blinders? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Man, my shop's been open for a while. I really need to go get items to repair, but people just keep wanting to buy stuff. <laughs> hey, it's you. <laughs> I love that you can double haggle these people. These are some suggestive noises. No, this game doesn't have that. All right, I want two people to come in at once so that I can just haggle and be done with this. Wait for it. Oh, damn. Oh, and she's not very happy either. Damn it. Yes. What do you do? I've never been so excited to buy a tire without a rim in my life. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. Here we go. 150 bucks. Holy. That's a lot. Oh, it's you again. Why didn't you just... You could have just... Whatever. Um, this person is H. Ted. Did you guys see that? Look, H. Ted. It's beheaded. Beheaded is disguised and wants to buy the shocks here. <laughs> Look, two hundred dollars hat. You gave me fifty bucks more. I have to think of purchasing tires. They stress me out. Why? Oh, just like, just, ha just happen to need them? Or you just, you just like get nervous around tires or? Easy to evade taxes if you buy things separately. Oh, I'm going to get both the stations now. Here I go. I got, I got my repair station. All right. Repair station has a repair broken items. Have the hammer icon, fix damaged spots. And... Combine items to create new ones. Look for puzzle icon. Press middle station's middle button to assemble item. Stealing with car stuff is stressful in general. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I agree. I need... <laughs> I need new back shocks for my vehicle. I, I'm going to have to schedule something for like early December. I think it was like... I want to say it was like close to $300. 
he was like, can I schedule you? I'm like, this isn't the best time. She's like, oh, what do you mean? I'm like, well, I don't really want to spend that much money in December, but, <laughs> you know, got to make it safe. And it's, it's about time. The, the vehicle, as far as I know, as far as I've owned it, like, I got it used. So if I assume that it hasn't been done before, it's been over 100,000 kilometers. So yeah, shocks could be used. I've been ignoring the weird noises for months now. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm fucking broke. It's what I mean. Yes. Listless. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh god how do i oh i gotta go get the item that's so lame can i just can i just right click oh wait what about this one okay i don't i don't have that i have this thing i think can i just uh. I gotta go get it, don't I? Oh, this is so stupid. Wait. Can I can I not summon the truck? I have to go all the way around? Ugh. Alright. Can I, can I have multiple? There's got to be a better way to do this. Can someone look up if there's a better way? Do I have to schlep this all the way over? I do run out of stamina, by the way. How the hell do I... What? Where's the, where's the assembly thing? Where's the... Combine items to create new ones. Look for puzzle icon. Yeah. But... Whatever, I'm taking... But I'm just gonna go get another one. Hey, Aaron! And it got no gas in it. <laughs> well, you're talking like they do in this game, Aaron. Oh, take it easy, Rock. Have a good night. I, where the fuck did the... Oh, I have to get it from here. That's... Yum. Will it just like... Oh, okay. It only goes the one way. I have to rotate it all the way back around. Can I just... Can I just... Fuck. Transfer from storage station or drop items by hand? How do I transfer it from storage station? How do I do that? No, it says transfer from storage station. I want to transfer. How do I transfer it? I'm having a wonderful good on repeat in my mind because you're painting a reindeer. Oh, you're getting ready, Nat, aren't you? So tomorrow, by the way, we will be back to XCOM. Didn't I leave on a cliffhanger? What, were we mid-mission or something? No, maybe not. I thought I did. Maybe I'm thinking of the, the other time we were in that sewer mission. But, uh... Yeah, we're back to XCOM tomorrow. Uh, 
Okay, well, if I bring this here and nothing happens, I'm going to be a little upset. I, I just wasted all this time throwing items together. Come on, here. Eh. That's about how I feel right now. How the hell? What? How do I assemble this? How... All I remember is that I'm dead. And you'll never let me live it down, Monty. How do I do this? Does that have to be, like, perfectly in there? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, Nat. <laughs> How do... Do I gotta, like, put it into the... Help... I don't understand. Does anyone? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. No, it doesn't, Woo. With every oh, subscription, hey, I only grow stronger. 17 months as well. <laughs> You're right there. You're right there with Scar and Nat in her face. Thanks, Thank you. Pick one of the projects from the assembly station and move objects there. They should automatically land into the station. But they don't, though. Wait, what? Now they did when I pressed that button. That's so stupid. Okay, it's working now. All I had to do was jiggle the controls. I did it. All right. I did break it. Yeah, that'll happen. How you doing, Interface? So is there anything else to... Okay, I don't think anything else I can really assemble. Can I... Oh, I gotta go get the stupid broken parts. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh. Can I assemble these? <laughs> okay, I'm fixing this. Yeah, t today was a bit of like, it was four hours working on a tech thing for something that should have been done in five minutes. But other than that. And okay. How do I... Oh, I just gotta keep mashing the button. Okay. Wait. Good as new. Oh, I needed to use string. There we go. More for the frogs. You gotta wait. Okay. All right. Well, I, I fixed that. Now. Now. I will go and get. What's the other thing I can fix? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, the TV. Yeah. Out of my way, Pappy. I'm fixing 
I'm fixing this TV by hammering the front and with bits of string, I'll fix it. There we go. Perfect. Uh-oh. Oh no, it fell on its front. We're gonna need more string. <laughs> all right, let's sell all this crap. I've got so much money. Why don't I just like make some more shelves or whatever? Oh, 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 an entire bike. And the gas guzzler boy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna build these. What is this? Wait, midnight tuna. Why nasty Rocco? What is this? I did make the re I did make the repair station. Yeah. Who knew hitting things with a hammer really does fix everything? Yes. Yes. I will. Uh, okay. I can downgrade this as well. I can turn this into the Apple store eventually. For now, I'm just gonna... All right, the TV's here, it's ready. Okay. I'm, I'm running out of money a little bit. That's okay. I'm gonna sell someone this motorcycle. It'll be that lady with her, with her sex doll. We can put them both on the bike and she can get out of here. Okay, who, who will the lucky customers be? Uh oh, she doesn't look very happy. Ah! But I got her anyway. Yes, yes, seventy dollars more for that TV. Ha <laughs> ha! Indeed. Oh yeah, I also have to uh, sign on to the computer and and um send that, uh, what is it, the, the engine or whatever. Hmm. Do you have some special items? No? Hmm. Nice shop. Thanks. Hey! Yeah, that's right. Think you can come in here and steal the bike just because I left the keys in it? Oh! That alien usually pays good. Yes! Ha <laughs> Yes! Oh yeah! Thanks, buddy! Probably gassing up his uh, little saucer. Okay, someone needs to buy this bike. It's worth a lot. Someone buy the bike. Yes! I'm a hero, man. Oh, you gotta pay me more than that. No, keep keep paying me more. Yeah. Oh yes, 150 bucks more. Yeah, sold. Yeah, I kicked him in the crotch. You you right, Monty. All right, now I just gotta sign on. Go here. There you go. Perfect. Looking for Butch the Champion. Clint Pig Pusher? I don't like that. Oh, Welcome what else can I buy from this thing? I can get a shovel and a lockpick. Miko! Miko! It should work! <laughs> it should work! Okay, how, how... what? Medium speed, higher chance, can open medium difficulty locks. That's a great purchase. Oh boy, you've got. See you later, partner. All right, I got a big boy lockpick now, and I got my shovel. There was a couple places to shovel. Why is it getting louder? It's not. Don't worry about it. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. All right, I got a guitar. There was another place to dig somewhere. 
Good shovel animation. Yeah, you just slap it like a flat pancake. Where was the... Oh, it was out back, wasn't it? There, there. <laughs> More gracket. Okay, is that it? Did I... Is that everything? Uh, in storage. Got two things in storage, so I can sell those. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Okay, yes. $180 more. If I can haggle, I might be able to get my ultra axe. Hello. Yes, you look like an excellent blues player. You should definitely pay me more. Like, even more than that. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your acoustic. Did that just fall off the wall as he left with it? Okay, how close am I? Nico, it should work. Oh, 756? There's no way. There's no way. Oh, I tried. Yes, you should buy the racket. <laughs> I'm really good at nailing those, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Do this other job. I know no one would take this job besides you guys. Some birdie told me that a classic butch model can still be found around Quiet Woods. How about it? By the way, Uncle Billy, you still owe me 50 bucks, you... Accept the job. Go to Barn Hub. Barn Hub? Wait. Since 1918, Santo Alva City has hosted bid events at a place just under the famous landmark Twin Bridges. Oh, no, wait. Quiet Woods. Oh, it's saying that it, I should have an axe and a light. This forest is very old and famous for legends and mysteries. Oh, no. People still disappears without a trace around the spot. The twins' barns located there are avoided for most Americans. Florinda. All right, guys, we're going to Florinda. I didn't say you could play the blues, Monty. Also, I'll be right back.
the door into my foot. Uh, hello. Now, sorry, I had to, uh... Oh, damn. Had to use the uh, my own outhouse. <laughs> All right, what... Watch out, young, in this place. He's no joke, I must say. Okay. Suddenly he's playing Phasma. Is stream not working for anyone else? Oh, I hope it is. Repopulo it's still working. Good, good. Uh, why is there a random dude down there? Who that? Oh, that was supposed to be a crow? Oh, there's like s several places that I can go. I was so confused. I don't know how, but Shay, you hit the door right when someone at my place shoulder checked the door, and I was so spooked and confused where any sound was coming from. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kens. <laughs> that's that's a that's a mighty coincidence. Oh, I guess that's not working considering there's a. Why was there a random dirty mattress there? You gotta stay to the edges of the map. And oh. Oh, I can do floor upgrades and stuff. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around. I'm not gonna go up there yet. I'm gonna go around this old shack. Oh, I got two from that. Hell yeah! Oh, my axe got better. I forgot. <laughs> oh, that wall looks like crap. Howdy, stranger. How can I help you? Oh, good old agent agent. Oh. There are random dirty matches. That's true, Less Less. I don't... That You have a point. What are you doing here? I'm looking for... Junk? This place is under MBI surveillance. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's all he says. All right. There's no exhausting dialogue with this man. Or this game. <laughs> should I go in the spooky shack or should I go check the other path first? Spooky shack or path? Decide while I dig. Oh, good. A toilet. <laughs> that's, that's great. All right. Oh, my. That was an interesting owl noise. Spooky shack shack. All right. It's unanimous. All two of you have decided for me. Bet you can't use the toilet to upgrade your shop. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm gonna have to find a key. And destroy that obstacle. First, I'll take the wood. Is there anything? Oh! Oh no, no! That's not how we get in. But this guy has a bucket. It's better than our bucket. Our bucket was wooden. This bucket was metal. I bet you that there's an achievement for pooping in all of the outhouses. What do you what do you bet?
Yeah, I hate accidental shit, Ken's. Is this a golden? There's still a lot of items left, apparently. firewood into smaller bits of wood to use make it make sense all right there's a little like rafter area there's a bed oh i can recycle the guy's pillows All right, that's useful. Oh, I shouldn't have broke that. It actually made things darker. Okay. Pack it up. Did I see? Oh, no. Okay. I thought I saw the golden whatchamacallit. I need all the nonsense that I can get to repair things. Ooh, the key! Yes! Garage key! Out we go. Hello? Shouldn't this work? The hell? Oh, wait. Isn't this the garage? I have the key! Hmm. Oh, is there a door... Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Good call there, listless. Oh my. Well, it's trash. It's trashy. <laughs> That's a cool looking helmet. Okay. But all these little bits that like probably don't matter to, oh, can I open that? No. What was that sound? can't oh what the hell oh it's me farting i thought it was a creature outside but it's me it's just me okay so stupid all right i open this are we done in here i think we're done in here I thought, what a dumb, <laughs> stupid mechanic. All right, I'm going this way. Ooh, there's another home. Another path. Place to dig, perhaps? No? Oh, hey, it's the same guy. Mm -hmm. I'm detecting strong paranormal waves here. Hmm. Okay. That, 
that's all he says. Scared by his own fart? No. I just thought it was something outside. I didn't know. All right. Let's, uh... Oh, it's just me. God damn it, Kens. Oh, Jesus. I thought this was something. Oh, it's a jumping puzzle. I think. No! Oh! Wait. I hate jumping puzzles. Uh. Uh. I did it! Alright, let's end this. Okay, fall damage is not a thing. Don't say that, listless. You know Ken's will do it. <laughs> oh, there's a little cage. Oh, that's gruesome. Oh, it's a haunted house. Hold on. Let's try the back first. That's another dancing alien, isn't it? Give the people what they want, and clearly it's that sound bite as a notification sound. <laughs> yeah! I'm sure that's what people want. Is there any? No. There's literally a dancing alien over here, dude. No! Damn it! That's nice, though. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Took too long? I don't think so. Can I get underneath the dock here? Is that a thing that I can do? Can I... No, probably not. Here we go! did this and why? Who put this? Why? Why? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who put this in here? Who thought this? Who was like, you know what this game about redneck uh, antique pickers needs? An alien moonshine plot line where there's just like fever dreams of shit. Like who? All right, I'm going, going into the haunted house. Okay. There's nothing in there. Aliens are very on brand for the South. Well, oh, there goes the wolf. Mr. Fox. There's a lot of taxidermy in this. Recycle all the nerd shit. Ooh. Fancy. Elevator motor. Ah, that's what I need. Okay, I think I got everything from there. Oh, I ac 
accidentally broke that somehow. Miko console. Oh, a video game console. I'm going to sell this for so much money. I honestly thought that this house would be haunted. Like that there would be like something in it. But it's just an old washing machine. Oh, what about that? Can I take that? <laughs> Fuck it. That actually... I was... I actually... I was... I was using this. I was using this, and then I looked this way, and I thought this up here was like... God damn it. That's the only time that's actually even slightly got me. Congratulations, Scar. All right, I'm using the... I think I'm gonna... And their grand sister out here can use that newfangled thing. Huh. Oh, now I'm out of focus. My stuff came back on, but now I gotta... Focus! Focus, damn you. There it goes. Okay. Oh. Another TV. I almost got everything. There may be like one more thing left. Is it up? Oh, it's that. It's that weird squirrel. Oh, there's Butch. Oh, let's play. Well, but now you got your diagnosis, so it's good. Okay, I'm getting the hell out of these haunted woods. I'm out of here. Did I get the golden toilet paper? I did. That was a microwave? No, it was a TV, Monty. Television. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're leaving now. Let's... We're out of here. Hey, I got it. Oh! Oh yeah, he didn't he didn't go. Yeah! I should have known when I didn't hear the stupid ass noise. Ah. That's annoying. Whatever. I'm not going to be upset about not 100%ing this game. <laughs> Here, let's let's go power wash a painting. There we go. All ready for sale. All good. Now, what else do I need to do? I need to go repair this thing. The stove. Yeah, I power washed the painting, Scar. It's as good as new. He looks like a postmaster pope. A postmaster. Okay. Okay. All right. The fuck? It won't let me do it. Oh, wait. It just needed the right angle. All right. Got me a stove. There was something else that was broken, wasn't there? Am I crazy? Oh, it was a microwave. <laughs> it's 
fine, whatever. I know what I'm doing, Scar. It had a cover on it. There was like a glass cover. It was totally fine. At least I didn't make it look, look like that lady who did the Jesus painting. You know? Hong Kong. See, it's worth 375. Look at this guy. Got my toilet. Got my golden uh, pitchfork. Got a washer there. Oh man, everything is great. Okay, hold on. I gotta build. I gotta build this big shelf. Uh, there we go. There. Now everything has its home. <laughs> Jesus painting was a masterpiece. Well, that's one word for it. Okay, I did it. Alright, I'm going to bed. Apparently, I'm the janitor and I just do all the work. Like, literally all the work. I guess. Are you, are you like legit passionate about it, Scar? Yeah? Heartbreaking, to be honest. Okay, I'm opening up the shop. We're, we're going. How much money do I need for, uh... Cash only. 690, 750, See you okay. Oh, hello. Yes, you should give me all of your money. Yeah, that's awesome, Scar. That's really cool. It is interesting, for sure. Like, yeah. It's, I just didn't know that you were, uh, like, into it. That's cool. $38 more. Scar, what do you think? <laughs> This man wants to pay $500 for 375. Do we do it or not? Hurry, Scar. Hurry. Hurry. Oh my gosh. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I right, fuck this guy. I told him to fuck off. I'm not selling this beautifully restored painting that Scar's very passionate about. Oh, you wrote do it. God damn it. You weren't fast enough. <laughs> you did the wrong thing. Ah! Oh, yeah! Mm. Long as the person knows what they're doing, I agree. I've been teaching myself book restoration. I've been wanting to try restoring painting and such. Oh, that's cool, Scar. I only know any sort of, like, seeing a book restoration from, uh, from watching you. <laughs> you have any interest in doing restoration? Just interested. It was power. I really want to do them myself as well. Yeah, you should, Scar. That's so cool. Oh, wait, wait. I need to sell a toilet to this happy dude. Yeah. Yes. Ah. This man desperately needs a toilet. Like, desperately. He's willing to pay me so much money for this toilet. A hundred extra dollars to yeah. poop easily. That was his I can't hold it in dance. <laughs> this, this guy's upset I didn't sell the painting to him. So he wants the helmet so that he can headbutt at me and steal my painting. Why is this guy like? <laughs> Have you restored some books, Scar? You said you've been teaching yourself. Like you've been practicing on some, or? 
Pam, 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 pam. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this dude wants the painting. Scar, you gotta be quick and tell me whether I'm selling it to this person. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh yeah. Thirty-eight more dollars. Oh. Okay, this guy's gonna pay five oh six for it. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Uh huh. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, I sold it. <laughs> Can either do. Go into a restoration of culinary arts after school, but was undecided. Now I just do both as a hobby. It's probably much more relaxing that way. Oh. Natasha over here wants my uh, Mr. Fox. And is willing to pay boatloads for him. Okay, I've got a lot of money now. I've only got three things left to sell, but I've got a good amount of money after it's done to do upgrades to my tools again. Wait! No, it's fine, Listless. That's why I told Scar to be ready. It's, it's, the delay is fine. It's all good. I sold it, didn't I? Oh, hi. I haven't seen you before. You're a new customer. I'm in the mess. I'm in the mess, huh? A new customer who doesn't want to pay very much. Fine, I'll sell it to you, I guess. I regret selling it to her. How about changing the posters? Oh yeah, I guess I could do that. I feel deaf. You look like you need some coffee. Damn it! What do you do? Oh, you Hundred dollar coffee machine? Sure. All right, I got one more item. That uh, microwave slash television. <laughs> oh, I do still have a broken item. I thought I did. Where's the broken item at, though? Oh, you're already paying more. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is exactly listless. This is their Walmart and eBay. Yeah. You got it right. What is this? Why is there cinder blocks? Whatever. Okay. Where's my broken item? I need it. Oh, the chair! Why didn't I see the chair? I'm gonna go bash this with a hammer and it'll be good as new. Okay. Some bits of string on the back of the upholstery. There we go. Yeah, these people could just barely write an email. Chair? This chair isn't... Ah, there we go. I'm going to carry this one into the shop personally. They call it Red Passion. Yeah, that's nice. No, we're open. All right, this is the last item. Then we'll really outfit the place. You buy a lot of stuff from me, just so you know. And I squeeze more money out of you every time. No discounts for loyal customers. Yeah, you should definitely pay me $675 for this. 
and you're always so happy about it. You don't come in happy, but you certainly leave happy. And that's exactly how I run my stream. <laughs> uh, she's an undercover cop. I haven't done anything illegal. Where's that tissue? And every time you walk into the shop, you hear it. <laughs> Miko, it should work. All right. That's a great you can. That's a Perfect. Great I upgraded purchase. everything. I'm later, amazing. Partner. Now, let's upgrade this crap house of a shop. Hold on. What is this? Oh. Laser twist. Holy crap. Wait, I want good. Wow. Damn, those are some good shelves. Can you imagine coming in here and this is what the place looks like? But then you're like, wow, they must have really gotten a good deal on those shelves. That was a nice looking chair. Yes, I agree. Wait, I can change the... Oh, I have to pay to change the walls? That sucks. Oh, my gosh. Why is this... Is this see-through? Why is this see-through? What? Oh, yes. Psycho flavor looks to be the match to... Up there. <laughs> Selling diamonds in a shoebox. Yeah. All right. Well, hmm. What about the posters? Oh, I just have these. These don't cost money. That's nice. Good old MILF lover. Men's perfume. What else do I have? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there's not. Hold on. Very childish. No. What? What do you mean this choice is still locked? What? I can't go back? Whatever. Fine. Fucking beer there. Hold on. It's fine, Scar. All right. Okay, they're not they're not exactly side by side, but like Perfect. Okay. Wait, can I change that one? That one I had for free. It's already up there. That's so stupid. Whatever. Okay, I'm changing this one. What was this changing to? Hello. Hello. There. Hi. Oh, thank you. Food is imminent? Okay, I'm just about finished. Ah. Oh, that was so nice of her. She made that so well. Ooh, and something smells really good. I can put more posters out here. Yeah. With every subscription, I right, only mouse. grow stronger. Oh, happy nine months, <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry you rolled a Thanks one, so. but you did get another badge. And I really appreciate you supporting me. I always roll in that one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Describe smell. It's just a really nice, like, it's like an onion and garlic, like, uh, like things are cooking and simmering very nicely. Uh, and Annika made me uh, an amaretto and coke. 
which is what I sometimes have. Ah. You know, the first half of my day was, like I said, it was very, like, waste of time. But, uh, but I love this. I'm glad to be back and see you all again and talk to you and, and play a stupid game. <laughs> okay, where are we at? I'm pretty sure we're basically good to go. Yo, remember that guru lady, Mary? After her disappearance, her house was empty for years. Now Miko owns it. If you win that special event, would you sell me that old clock? If you find it, of course, thanks. By the way, buy yourself a lock picker. Just saying, bear out. How would you possibly know that? Wait, I need $2,500? I don't have that. Well. Yeah, I upgraded everything. Yeah, the, the shovel's gold, and the axe is pretty good. How do I get to my lockpicks? I guess I don't. They just kind of exist when I need them. I take my hearts back. You're being so wholesome, and then squat farted on our affection. <laughs> I love how this is, like, still the tutorial. You haven't even unlocked this yet. It's too... Why is there... Hmm. Well, I guess I should call the game there. I I don't I don't have twenty five hundred because I spent it all on. Wait. Will it give me my money back? Uh. What? It robbed me. Wait. Okay, well, I could at least do that and put it back. I, I thought it was just going to take my money and not let me put it back to that. I was going to be so upset at all my hard work. No, I thought I could rip things out of the baseboards and just like, you know, just rip everything out back to zero and have enough money to do the thing. But I don't, so... That's, that's, that's where we're going to end this particular one and probably this game. It, uh, it was fun for an evening though. I got an evening of fun out of it for, you know, for 20 bucks. <laughs> oh boy. Very, very crude, but yeah, I, I, I enjoyed myself at least laughing at it with you guys. Woo. Woo. Cans. Woo. In today's news, <laughs> a group or just have not spent all my money, Monty. <laughs> oh, boy. Does that say Ken's? Yeah. Ken's Cola. Only for kings. Oh, King Cola. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that that cursive says Ken's Cola. Only for kings. <laughs> it definitely says Ken's. <laughs> King Cola. Only for Ken's. <laughs> only Ken's is allowed to get fat on this cola. Hello, we are open. Hello, we are closed. Warning, protected by security system, which which we put on the inside top where nobody would ever see it. <laughs> yeah, all right. I'm calling it. Load last save. Oh, I didn't save anything at all. You think that's saved? Oh, there it goes. It just quit the desktop. Well, that's good. Oh, man. I've been trying to get back into, like, the swing of, uh, I think I mentioned, like, when I visit family, I get into this, like, habit of, uh, 
Like they often go to bed, depending on if they're working, but I get like all relaxed because I'm there hanging out. And so I start going to bed at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night and waking up at like seven. And uh, yeah, for like a few good days after I'm back, I'm just like, oh God, six o'clock at night. <laughs> That I just like, I don't know. I can't get back into the rhythm. I'm trying to like get back into my normal sleep schedule, but that sounds glorious. It's nice when you're relaxing that. Yeah, it's definitely nice at the time. It's just like getting back to my own schedule of how I actually like work and do things is, is different. But yeah, it was a fun little stream. I enjoyed hanging out with everyone. And uh, for people who missed the announcements in the beginning, was really just uh, uh, today we were playing this because this was the what Monty had for the uh, for the milestone, and then uh, later this week I'm gonna release uh, some info about the D and D one shot that I'm gonna be running. If you'll recall, that was the ultimate milestone uh, for the UNICEF stream. So look out for that. It'll very likely be on the the Gilded, um, but I might also tweet something about it. And yeah, I will see everyone back tomorrow is XCOM. I'm jumping back into XCOM. So if you're looking for your character to die or to get another one, I will see you then. Oh, Ken says something. I was getting tea and heard you call me and woo. And now I just played it back. Uh, you really verbally tagged me in shirtless yeehaw. <laughs> Jesus, that's poster. Yeah, I did, Ken's. Good night, Ken's. Have sweet dreams of old yeehaw. <laughs>